Hello, sixth grade. How are you guys today? This is Mr. McAuliffe. Once again, coming to you from your classroom here at St. Margaret's. I'm going to read to you <clears throat> again this week, just as I've been doing each week, that we haven't been in school. Even though you've been in school, we really haven't been in, well, you know what I mean. So <clears throat> the book that I've chosen for this week is entitled The Bad Seed. It was written by Jory John and illustrated by Pete Oswald. The Bad Seed. I am a bad seed. A really bad seed. Oh yeah, it's true. The other seeds, they look at me and they say, that seed is just so bad. When they think I'm not listening, they mumble. There goes that bad seed again. He's nothing but trouble. But I can hear them. I have good hearing for a seed, that is. You ask, how bad am I? You really want to know? Well, I, ne <clears throat> I never put things back where they belong. I'm late to everything. <clears throat> I tell really long jokes that aren't very funny at all. I never wash my hands, <clears throat> wrong O or my feet. I lie about pointless stuff and I cut in line every time I can. I stare at everybody and glare at everybody. I finish everyone else's sentences and I never listen to what they have to say. And I do lots of other bad things too. You know why? Because I am a bad seed. A really bad seed. You see, I just can't help it. Sure, I wasn't always this bad. I was born a humble seed on a simple sunflower in an unremarkable field. I had a really big family. Seeds everywhere. We found ways of having fun. We were a really close family. But then, the petals dropped, and our flower drooped. It's all kind of a blur now. I remember a big bag, fresh sunflower seeds, delicious. Suddenly, everything went dark. And then, just then, a giant. I thought I was a goner. I thought I was done for. I screamed and I hollered. And then just at the very last minute, I was spit out, poof, at that last possible second. I flew through the air and I landed under the bleachers with a huge thud. When I woke up, it was dark outside. A wad of gum had softened my fall. I felt okay, but something had changed in me. I'd become a different seed entirely. I'd become a bad seed. A really bad seed. That's right, I stopped smiling, I kept it myself, and I drifted from here to there. I was friends with nobody and bad to everybody. I was lost on purpose. I lived inside a soda can. I didn't care and it suited me just fine. Until recently, that is. You see, I've made a big decision. I've decided I don't want to be a bad seed anymore. I'm ready to be happy again. You see, it's hard to be good when you're so used to being bad. But I'm trying, and I'm taking it one day at a time. 
Sure, I still forget to listen from time to time. And I still am a little bit late. And I still talk during movies. And I do all kinds of other bad stuff, too. But I also say thank you. And I say please. And I smile. And I hold doors open for people. Not always, but sometimes. All I can do is keep trying and keep thinking. Maybe I'm not such a bad seed after all. Hey, look, there goes that bad seed again. He's a bad dude. Actually, he's not that bad anymore. Thanks. I heard that. The end. I hope that you enjoyed that story as much as I enjoyed reading it to you, sixth grade. I miss you sitting here in front of me in person. <clears throat> I'd much rather do that than read to you over video, but that's what we have to do now. So until next time, sixth grade, please remember to be safe, be healthy, and be strong. Have a great day, sixth grade. Bye-bye.